I'm here with Ryan and Zach from One Republic. Gentlemen, hello. How are you doing? Very well. You are fresh off stage already on this big weekend. And fresh. what a performance that was. <laughs> Thank you so much. How was it for you guys? It was actually amazing. We, we've done a lot of festivals um, rarely rarely during like broad daylight but the weather is perfect the crowd was incredible and full and it was great what do you do normally when you come off stage zach do you have a, like a sort of relaxing come down ritual no no there's not a lot of ritual we except for quiet we we usually like to have a quiet room for at least 10 minutes after the show so that we can get our energy level down just a little bit because it's like we're way too hyped up after a show i went into a refrigerator truck for the last 10 minutes which was amazing they let me stand where they're keeping all the food for the artists they let me walk in and just stand there like at about zero degrees centigrade for about 10 minutes. So I feel amazing right now. Hang on, you've been in the catering truck getting cold. I've been in the catering truck. The, they, the, lady, the lady just kind of pointed at me. She's like, come here. <laughs> right, you like, very hot and very sweaty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this giant fridge. She let me stand in it. It was amazing. That's a really good tip. I was expecting sort of good uh, uh, international pop star advice for backstage antics, but getting into a huge backstage. fridge is what I wasn't expecting. Backstage antics, it's always, it's always odd at festivals. We did The first festival we ever played was Coachella. And it's amazing. We had the our, our trailer was next to Gnarls Barkley, and this is like you know crazy was the big a huge hit. This is a long time ago, and it's always festivals are interesting because some of the artists you're friendly with, some of them you don't recognize, some of them recognize you, and everyone's kind of looking at each other backstage, going, "Is which band? Who who is that? Like unless it's like Rihanna, you just don't really know who you're dealing with." Also, some people dress famous but aren't famous. Have you All seen right, no, that? no, no. Let me on that topic. More people that aren't famous or are not the actual artists dress famous or like they are the artists than the artists themselves in, in 10 years of doing this i've noticed that to be true i think you could probably if you're not famous just dress famous and walk with a confident breezy people air. will stop you but they'll stop you or you'll just get wherever you want you'll walk into your dressing room yeah. one day and there'll be a person who looks more 100%. famous than you sat there 100 if you're wearing the right hat and the right boots you're, you're set mm. Uh, now, Ryan, you are a tremendous front man. Thank you. Obviously, you you are across all sides of the industry, the songwriting side of it and the behind-the-scenes yeah. producing stuff, yeah. and also uh, the, the front man stuff. Which bit of it do you prefer? Like, if you had to give one of them up, which one would you give up? When Zach and I literally sat at a kitchen table uh, in L.A. years ago and <laughs> we on paper wrote down the goals of what we wanted to do, if we get, if we get to the place that where I think this band can be, then I think that will be it for me. I, I don't, I already write less and less for other artists. It's more a hobby. Songwriting now is a hobby that I'm lucky enough to get to write with the best artists in the world. But One Republic was the goal from the beginning. So yeah, I would I would give up writing for other artists if, if you know, if this album does what I hope it does, yeah. And Zach, what's Ryan like to be around when he's uh, when he's doing his songwriting for other people? He's not around. <laughs> He's not around, yeah. It's, it's dreaming, a lovely gone. life. Yeah. Right, 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 exactly. He's off somewhere in some hotel room writing some super smash. <laughs> and the rest of us are home relaxing. <laughs> Do you ever get annoyed that he's written a song for someone else? You're like, that should have been one of us. Um, no, that, we, we get that question a lot. And, and um, I think the, the honest answer... I can see answer, that you're bitter about it, Zach. I can see you're bitter. Here we go. I'm really angry, but I'm try trying to, to, try I'm to, trying to, to get past Zach, the anger. Please, try and calm down. Okay, let me call my try therapist and, and let the therapist answer. <laughs> I'm not ready to speak yet on this topic. Um, <laughs> Uh, no, I'll try to get through this uh, with with the answer I was told to say. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I'm just Ryan's kidding. just handed over a piece of paper which is uh, which, okay. scripted in, in Okay, bold. what did you tell yeah. me to what did you tell me to Answer say, Ryan? Okay, uh, uh, <laughs> for fifty pounds, here's the answer. It's actually no, it's actually fine. When Ryan when writes uh, other songs for other artists, nine times out of ten, the song would just never. It, not, it's a great song, but it just like it, it wouldn't work with with the personality of One Republic. Just for radio listeners, Zach was dead behind the eyes during that uh, during that question, weren't you? Just he was completely go, dead. But I saw it. Yeah, he's just to, to, so annoyed about being on the There's nothing, the header nothing, the nothing happening behind <laughs> this facade of friendship that you have put on for the last seventeen years. Stone cold. Do you guys squabble? Because you have been friends for a long time. Do you ever have like uh, backstage tiffs? Zach is the consummate diplomat and he's very even keel. The rest of the band, we have gotten in, um, there have been altercations. There have been not physical fights, but um, very, very, very scream matches, heated moments. And like I keep hearing, I don't know much about the 1975, but what I do know about them is they've somehow been together for like 15 years they're or something. They've been for a long time. Even though they're like 25, they've been together for 15 That's years. That's right. And, um, and 
I would say that's a testament to the fact that probably one or more of the people in the band are related, typically is what happens. And number two, you can't, you cannot hook up with your band member's girl. That's like rule number one. Yes. So that breaks up a band and then drugs break up a band. Those are the two things. If you avoid drugs and like dating your, your best mate's uh, girl, then uh, you're good. We're nine years in here. We're, we're, we're almost, next year we'll be at 10, so. Are you gonna have a maniversary? A 10 year anniversary. We should. <laughs> you know what we talked about doing? We always see all these crazy uh, pop acts. You see photos of them on, on yachts. Yeah. We've, we've probably done well enough, maybe, potentially, to justify a yacht at some point, but we've never even stepped foot on one, ever. Figuring out how all these pop stars find these boats and tracking a boat down and doing it for a week with our with our friends and family. Mm. Dinghy. Yeah. Zach's a fan of the dinghy and the tugboat. <laughs> 20 anniversary jet skis, because then you can all go off on your separate ways. Why not we, we, we have, we've, we've already... I destroyed him on a jet ski last year, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> crashed like into race. him. Yeah, oh, I, you crashed, I crashed into him. Into, I, do, I literally destroyed the jet ski and almost cut his leg off. When you say Zach never gets angry, Zach, were you angry? He was angry. Yeah, no, at that point, I said some words that I don't usually say. <laughs> that was say. the most bad he's I, ever been to me, was ever. Like, uh, it was I, very upsetting. I legitimately I almost, almost cut his leg off. Yeah. You obviously write songs about lots of things, lots of life experiences for yourself and for other people. Are there any subject matters that haven't been covered off that you're dying to tackle? Because I feel like there's lots of life experiences that haven't yet been captured in song. I've, I have a couple other artists and producers. We've, we've, we've joked about... Um, <laughs> this is ridiculous. I don't know if I. We've thought about writing a song. Maybe we could call Kygo and see if he'll if he'll do it. Yeah. Um, where it's about. I don't know how you say it in the UK appropriately. Break breaking wind. Oh uh, yeah, farting. Farting. Trumping. Okay. So I want to do I want to do a song about farting. I've talked about this for years actually. Yeah. Ed Sheeran, Ed Sheeran and I talked about doing this. Doing a song where the entire song people think it's about like a lost love or like someone that's haunting you, but in reality, it's it's the it's the fart. Well, it can be a very emotional experience letting a fart out. We're staying in a nice hotel, nicer than than we normally do. And yesterday I get in, and there is a lady and a businessman dressed to the nines. One of them had just died in that elevator oh, no. it opens that they did not count on me getting in and i got in and one of them recognized me and knew that they had farted in the elevator and i knew that they had and it was this like 30 seconds of all of us just knowing what had just happened it was just it was miserable you know that they're telling this exact same story they but are, they're like oh my god are. i farted in front of ryan Denner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, it was really bad it yeah. was really bad i'm yeah. telling you right now it it it's gonna I'm gonna do it. It's gonna the metaphor for the record will be that it won't be a, it won't be a one republic song. It'll be for some unsuspecting new artist. Yeah, I was gonna say it'll be some like Ryan Ted has got a song for you. Oh my god, he sought me out for this song, and then they realize it's the fart song. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's called I Feel You Everywhere. I feel you everywhere. It's really good, yeah, but yeah. mostly in my trousers. But mostly in my tra- <laughs> mostly mostly in a crowded elevator. That'll be that'll be in the brackets. Then, yeah, in the brackets. <laughs> now, would you guys like to play a little game? Yes. That is the correct answer. Thank you very much. We have with us a competition winner. She won okay. tickets on one of my radio shows to come down to Big Weekend. Come on over. Come and say hello. This is Zach. This is Ryan. They're from One Republic. Hey, how are you? So, hello, Becca. Hello. Um, it's a game called Backtrack, and it's very simple. I will read you lyrics from a song backwards, in reverse order. You just have to tell me what the song is. Is are we ready? Oh, any song? No, it's going to be one. Of, it's going to be one of yours. Oh, you've okay. penned this, so there's really no excuse. And, for you am I competing this. against her? You are. Oh, you God are. So it. what I would say is, both of you get close to the microphone, share it here, and then uh, call out your name go. when you think you know okay. the answer. Uh, right, here we go. First up. Now, secret. No, secret. No. Now, secret. No. There's love. The got we now over it and Ryan, you wrote this song, mate. Oh my god, <laughs> up it burn. You know what it is? We and fire the start. We up what? wings. No, uh, hang on, what are you saying, Ryan? I, I, is it is, is it a one? I mean, it's one of it's a song that you have written. It's for, not, it's not it's a one song. Bur- song birdie, birdie have, wings. Birdie Wings yeah. is the wrong answer you're frozen God. out of the game. <laughs> Unbelievable. Becca, I'm going to keep reading. Burn, burn, oh, oh. burn. Oh, Ellie, no! Becca, oh, Becca, it. Becca. Go on, Becca. Is it Ellie Golding's burn? Yes, it is. <laughs> A point to Becca. Right. 
Unbelievable right. Uh, next up, try this one. That's so pathetic. The clue is, you wrote these words. Okay, I... Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's the, I get the clue. Unbelievable. Clue. Unbelievable. Okay, All right, here yeah. we go. Out, you, shut, gonna, never, I'm. Taking, I'm, that, risk, the. Breaking, you, had, I, rule, every. Awakened, been, I've, like, it. I love the concentration on your face, Ryan Tenner. Oh my God. Again, ground, the, two, back, me, pull, two. I'm so bad at this. Begin, can't, gravity. Oh. Falling, uh, like, uh, feel, even, don't, this, but, again, fall, never, fall I'd, gravity. swore, I. Swore. Oh, uh, uh, Ryan, is it? Beyonce Halo. It is Beyonce Halo. Okay. You pull back a point. Oh, God. Okay. All right, let's do another one. You're really okay. bad at this. Yeah, I know. I'm Hang on, she's got one <laughs> point. Right? I know, I'm joking, point. I'm joking. Okay, Becca, it's one all. How are you feeling at this stage? Are you going to take down Ryan Tedder? Uh, I'm, I'm semi-confident. You're semi-confident. That's good. Non-committal. Ryan, these are words that have come from your own fair brain. You, as you remind me. Yeah, yeah. I feel like yes. I have to. <laughs> right, are we ready? Here we go. Let's do it. Last round of battle track. This is for the win. For her leaving your one V I'm it has rumor but core the too cold I'm yet melt heart my made you uh, okay. Adele rumor has it it Ryan. is Adele rumor <laughs> has it rumor oh, I mean, come on, which rumor. means Ryan Tedder takes the game about songs that Ryan Tedder's written which is fine but which is the fine. fact that I, I'm two to one she she could have won this this is the thing this is the thing uh, congratulations you Thank win you. Uh, you win nothing really other than the knowledge that you've crushed a competition winner's dreams right oh man that's what's happened today Becca how destroy are you I don't think I'll be able to get over this kind of pain no you, you came to this interview as a One Republic fan how are you leaving I'm still a, I'm still a fan I'm still a fan Fine. All right, she said reluctantly and thank, under duress. Thank God. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. And thank you for being so good at Ready Once Big Weekend. Really enjoyed it. Zach, Ryan, thank you. Thanks so much, man. Lots of fun.